Hello, my name is Victoria and today we are going to learn how to fix error name not result. Let's go! The DNS is used to identify the IP address related to a given website domain name. It allows instant browsing, which is extremely useful considering the internet is full of billions of web pages. However, the system may fail to locate the IP address, leading to an error name not resolved DNS error. To fully understand how the error name not resolved problem begins, you must first understand how DNS works. When you enter a website address like hostinger.com into your browser, your computer sends a DNS request to get the IP address of the web server that hosts the website. The lookup procedure might be sped up if the browser or internet service provider has already cached the IP address. If the matching address is not found in the DNS records, it will use the DNS domain name resolution method to find the IP address. The website may have moved to a different IP address, but the system is still keeping the old cached address. The browser will use the old cached address so the domain name cannot be resolved and the error message will pop up. So, today we will go over the 6 simple ways to fix this error. But before we begin, check the domain name on Hostinger's Whois database to see if the domain hasn't expired or been suspended. You can find a link in the description below. Because the outdated cache is one of the most common causes of the error name not resolved issue, it's best to begin by clearing your operating system's DNS cache. To avoid security risks such as DNS spoofing and behavior tracking, I recommend cleaning and refreshing the DNS cache on a regular basis. The DNS flash technique varies depending on operating system, but we have a tutorial ready for you that will explain how to flash your DNS cache on Microsoft Windows and Mac OS. The Google Chrome browser also saves DNS info to improve page load speed on return visits. If the website has relocated to a different IP address, an outdated record in the DNS cache might cause the error name not resolved error message. To clear the host cache on the Chrome, follow these steps. Open Chrome and type this text in the browser's address bar and press Enter and then simply click Clear Host Cache. I also recommend that you remove Chrome's browser cookies on a regular basis, because browser cookies might conflict with your internet's DNS, resulting in the error name not resolved error message. Another Chrome option worth looking at is the Page Preloading Service. This feature, which includes DNS preloading, prefetches the resources of web pages related to sites you have already visited. The main purpose is to improve the user experience by making the prefetched page load quicker. But this feature is also known to trigger the error name not resolved issue. So, it's better to disable the prediction service to avoid the problem. And also, prefetching the pages consumes your internet bandwidth as well as local resources. Okay, first Click on the three dots at the top right corner of the Chrome window and select Settings. Then choose Privacy and Security. Here select Cookies and Other Site Data. And scroll down and find Preload Pages for faster browsing and searching. Once you find it, turn it off. Another reason for the error name not resolved issue is that the DNS server is not working correctly. So, when you try to visit the website, the DNS query is unable to be resolved. To fix this issue, selecting one of the DNS server addresses from Google or Cloudflare's public servers should help you out. On your computer, open System Preferences and select Network. Then click on Advanced and open DNS tab. Now press the plus button to add a new DNS server. Type in one of the public DNS servers that you see on the screen. Once you type that in, click OK. Adding the website's IP address to the host file can solve DNS-relating browsing errors. It's also helpful for identifying the cause of an issue. 
if you can access the website after adding the domain name and the IP address into the host file, the issue was on your site. Open your host file, click on the launch pad and open terminal. We'll be using the nano editor. To run as an administrator, add this code and press enter. Then type in your password and you will be directed to the host file. Now you need to add your chosen IP address, followed by the domain name, separated by a space, like this. Once you are done with editing the host file, press Command X on your keyboard, enter Y to save changes and hit Enter. Another reason for the error name not resolved error is a problem with your internet connection or Wi-Fi network. To verify this, you can perform two tests. The first is to re-access the web page using a new, more steady internet connection. To do so, create a mobile hotspot on your phone and use it to connect your computer to the network. Go back to the website and check whether it loads correctly. If this is the case, the previous internet connection might be the source of the error name not resolved issue. So to fix that, Turn off the router and unplug it from the power source. Wait at least 30 seconds before reconnecting the power and rebooting the router. Also, keep in mind that it may take some time for the router to become completely operational. If any of already mentioned ways to fix the error didn't help, check the domain's WIS to verify if DNSSEC is enabled. It is an additional layer of security that uses cryptographic signatures. While it stops unauthorized users from accessing DNS records, it might also prevent the domain from propagating correctly, which causes the error. If this is the case, but it's not your domain or website, there's not much you can do except inform the website owner of the issue. But if it's your domain or website, you can disable DNSSEC. If you use Hostinger, it's just a few clicks away. Log into your Hostinger H panel. Click Domains at the top of the page and then select the domain you want to configure. Select DNS name servers here and then open DNSSEC tab. If there's a DNSSEC record on the list, just simply remove it. Now you know how to fix error name not resolved error using six simple and easy methods. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and I will get back to you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up share it with friends and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you in the next video.